Hi, Mayor Kevin Davis here at the Brantford Civic Center. I'm here with Dean, who's the construction superintendent with the cattle. Where are we at, Dean, with the construction, the reconstruction of the Civic Center? So if you look up, you can see the new lights. This is the biggest thing that's been completed this week. NHL level lighting. That's yeah. We're going to achieve enough light for a broadcast on any station anywhere in the world. State of the art sound system. And the sound system's already in there now. Yeah, we, yeah. that went in a couple of weeks ago. Up to the side is our new press box. That'll be cameras and controls and production yeah. facility. So that's that's one of the biggest differences I see in here the last couple of months. I mean, that's huge, that gondola. Yeah. What about the scoreboard? I thought I might see a scoreboard in here. <laughs> Later on. So Later on. Okay. But it's going to be here before Thanksgiving. 100%. Yeah. So sec second week of September, we'll be hanging the new scoreboard. Well, why don't we go upstairs to the mezzanine and have a look at what's happening up there. All right. Looks like there's something that's going to be constructed here. What's this? So in the four corners of the arena, because there's not a lot of concession space available in the building, we decided that we could put a platform in each of these corners and it's elevated so that we can maintain the headroom on the stairs going down. These will be concession stands to sell beverages and food. And, and so there'll be one in each corner of the building. That's right. All right. So, and so people them. will be able to stay in the mezzanine. and they won't have to go downstairs. Correct. Yeah, Correct. great idea. This so, is how you now get to the gondola. That's right. Okay. So we're now on the catwalk outside the gondola. And this is completely brand new. Yeah, brand new. Two months ago, this wasn't here. And, and actually, the view from here standing is pretty spectacular. Yes. The, the sight lines in this arena are great. And with the new glass... The yeah. black netting. and you can It's a lot easier to see through the black 100%. netting than the white netting. Who will be able to come up here during the game? Basically, production staff, team staff, Game um, officials. Yeah, that's right, game officials. Right. People involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the Bulldogs. When you it, say production really. staff, what do you mean? Um, people in charge of uh, putting the putting the images on the screen, right, running right. the lights, um, sound system. Giving that experience. That's right, exactly. That, that, is, that in a modern OHL game, you got to have, the fans expect it. Yes. Makes Because it, it's not just hockey, it's entertainment. No, that's right. All right, so this is where the tel this is where the Rogers booth will be. Correct. And so this is where they'll televise the games from. That's right. Doesn't get much better than that. No, Point. not too high off the ice, but nope. also fairly close to the edge of the ice. Yes. All right, well, let's go downstairs and uh, have a look at some of the stuff that's been done to the, uh, the team the team area, okay. and also the auditorium. Sounds good. So Dean, we're now in uh, what was the auditorium. What is this room gonna be used for during the games? It's gonna be a sports lounge, essentially. So seating for about 140, full service bar at the back end down there, 26 foot long bar. It's Big TV screens. Five, five TVs down that wall. Right. At uh, least three to five on the back side. Also some memorabilia on the large sort right. of uh, wall here. This wall here, uh, this is cutting into what was the auditorium area before. What's, what's behind these walls? So behind that wall is the new commercial kitchen. All right. And so this will be a full commercial kitchen yeah. uh, where the food will be served in this area uh, before a game and uh, during intermissions. Yep. There was also a lot of work done building a new addition to this building. I call it the uh, the team club the team club area right. for the home team. Yep. Let's go have a look at that. Okay, let's take a walk down. So, Dean, in this addition, uh, this is the largest room. It's the team dressing room, and it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Uh, players who are playing in the OHL, this is the type of dressing room that, that they would expect to, to, to have access to. They've. Uh, put a lot of thought into the design of this facility. It's 4,600 square feet, and every inch is, uh, was, you know, predetermined, so. And it, always about improving the player experience. And, right. Okay, well, let's see the rest of this area. All right. So, Dean, this is at the front of this addition. What's this area gonna be used for? This is the coach's room. So there'll be, I believe, five of them will habitate in here. We have desks and uh, uh, TV screen, uh, whiteboards, uh, talk individually to players, um, and then they've got their own change room and washroom in the back here. So Dean, kind of dark here, but yeah. uh, again, this is the front of the building. This will be the players' lounge area yeah. Yeah. where they can come and relax. Again, it's all about providing the players with a great experience. That's right. So Dean, we we talked about the Bulldogs uh, coaching staff. They're really uh, they're really uh, keyed about what's happening here. 
How about the Vicano work crew? What's, what's, the, what's the attitude there? In my 30 years of doing this, this is the most enthusiastic group of contractors and tradesmen I've ever worked with. Yeah, well, Great Dean, job. you know, Dean, talking to you and talking to Mark, I feel that from you, the, the passion for this project. Uh, you don't need to tell me. I can see it and I can feel it and uh, certainly extend my best wishes from myself and the city to, to the crew on, on the great work they're doing and continuing to do. Right and I have no doubt, this is going to be ready to go by Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go, go Bulldogs, go! <laughs>